Hey Taurus, I'm going to do your second half of January reading. I'm doing this a little bit different. Um, I know I said in the last reading for Capricorn that I would do it off camera, but I kind of just want you guys to see that I'm not doing nothing crazy. So I'm going to be picking a few cards from each. The Oracle cards will not be read in the reverse, only the tarot. I'm going to move a little fast here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be changing my website to reflect the time frame that you can expect your readings. Um, so even if you schedule it for a certain day, it'll take about three to five business days. Um, the reason why I'm going to do that is because my internet is extremely slow. So I want to make sure that you guys get your, um, readings in a timely manner and you're not waiting, if that makes sense. Cause I had somebody waiting, but it wasn't for me. It wasn't cause I wasn't trying to, it was my internet service was really bad. So, or it is bad. And if I have, if I'm trying to transfer to another one, I would have to pay all this money and I'm not doing that. So I think this will just be a little bit more clear. I mean, the reading came out great. I didn't hear anything bad about it, but it's just the wait time. Um, you know, I don't want you guys to get excited and sometimes it actually may be done the same day and then sometimes it won't. So just wanted to say that. Three cards for Taurus and your energy. So this is gonna be a general reading Taurus. It may not resonate with everyone. Um also it may not be specific to just your situation. It may be um also taking from people around you, so just keep that in mind as well. <clears throat> So it could be somebody you're dealing with that they're bringing their energy to you somehow. So let's see. <laughs> I know it's like silence. You guys can talk amongst yourselves. And I feel like doing it this way is actually going to be kind of quick because I know when I try, I don't really like to just pull from the top. Um, so I know when I try to, you know, get the card, wait for the card to pop out, it can be, um, take some time. Back. And then six of the tarot cards. Like I said, tarot is the only one that will be read in reverse if it comes out in reverse. I felt like somebody was behind me. Whew, okay. Let's give me six cards for Taurus in their situation. Six cards for Taurus in their situation. one more all right let's go ahead and get into it so let's go ahead and start off um we have the pop-up we have please forgive me and divine union so from these cards here what i'm getting taurus is that there was somebody or some situation that you had to let go. And I think it had something to do with somebody doing something to you. So it's like this person's asking for your forgiveness. Um, they may want to pop up on you, meaning they'll come to where you stay, where you work. Um, because this is something that you guys are connected with. This divine union. This could be somebody that um, you have strong ties with. So I do feel like this person is wanting to come in and apologize for something masculine or feminine um it's a feminine i mean sorry it's a masculine in the picture so there's probably some masculine out here that wants to come and apologize to you um and they just may pop up and when i say pop up it's kind of like they're doing what is tagged as a female trait um but i feel like this person feels connected to you they don't want to see you go they don't want you to leave them um this is the reason so you and this person probably always fought we have fighting here, always fighting. You guys were always fighting one another, um, arguments. It was kind of like you guys were at odds all the time. We have Venmo activities. So there was something connected with money here. 
what is the connection with money someone was overspending this could have been a marriage too someone was overspending um when it came to money they could have been borrowing money from people as well and we have options so someone here felt that they had multiple options or they were trying to have options in a commitment. So, of course, that's a recipe for disaster. Um, I don't know if I said it earlier that someone cheated. I feel that maybe that could have been the situation because this person made themselves believe that there was problems because it's fighting. There was always fighting because there was one ind individual here that was not trying to change and would only change when they were caught, if that makes sense. We have, I smile when you cross my mind. So I said before, I feel like you guys do have some type of connection because obviously this person, you wouldn't smile. Do you still want me? <laughs> so the person that was outed, um, the one that's asking for forgiveness wants to know if you still want to be with them. And look, we should be together. So someone is really wanting to get back in your good graces, Taurus. Um, you're so nurturing. So this is a personality trait that they like in you. Um, I have addictions. So Taurus, your person, um, has some type of addiction. Um, it could be gambling as well. I feel like you guys fought over money. So it could definitely be some type Sorry, of gambling. Taurus, my um, my uh, memory was full. But like I was saying, we have who have you been with. So this person is wondering who you've been with while you guys were not together. So there's definitely some type of separation or breakup that happened here. All right, for your tarot cards, we have the Hierophant. <laughs> this came out with black one. We have the Tower. We have the Hanged One. We have the Queen of Wands. The Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So you guys were dealing with someone that was very immature, um, kind of unstable in ways because they just, in the sense that they didn't know what direction they wanted to take. Now they're wanting to rush back in with you because they see that you're ambitious, you're beautiful, you're one of a kind, you're different. Um, maybe this person thought that, okay, well, we fought over this, I'm leaving. Um, and they just did things on their own and realize that that's not the way that they want to go. Um, with the hanged one, I feel like a lot of you um, who are watching, you may have just hung out. You didn't take any action towards this because you were fed up. And it was kind of like you also thought this was over. And I kind of feel that you guys do still feel like this is over. I just feel like this other individual that you may have been dealing with seems to think that things are still going to um, go back to where they were. But this person with this hierophant in the tower um this is a commitment that went sour there was a commitment that went wrong or bad somewhere because this person's um behavior this person just continued to do something and it could have something to do with this fighting as well i'm not getting domestic violence like you know where someone's eye was popped or you know stuff like that i think it was just like arguing it was constant arguing over money and also just not just money but also other people so someone here is really not taking any action. They don't really care. And the one that is did the wrong doing in this connection or this situation is the one that's trying to rush back in because now they're realizing like, hey, I messed this stuff up. It wasn't as fun as I thought it was. Um, and this person may be blaming their addictions on this situation. So I don't know if they have addictions with um, gambling because nothing about drugs came out, but addictions with gambling and um six um but of course that's going to be you guys's choice what you decide we have the silver waterfall so this card i didn't read the um booklet but this reading i mean i'm sorry this card to me signifies that someone needs to be vulnerable and they need to heal themselves they need to just like release any negativity any negative um situation so they can have their abundance because i feel like this person is refusing to see the life that they actually have because they're stuck in some type of um space negative space and they're not able to see that the silver waterfall which is like rejuvenating is something that they need so taurus that is you guys' second half reading of the month um if you guys like that please let me know and i'll catch you in the next video